एवरीवन आई एम स्वाति घाडगे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वॉलचंद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टॉपिक फॉर टुडे सेशन इज रिजल्टेंट ऑफ कॉन्करंट फोर्स सिस्टम बाय ग्राफिकल मेथड लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन लर्नर विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन रिजल्टेंट ऑफ कॉन्करंट फोर्स सिस्टम बाय ग्राफिकल मेथड लेट अस understand first what is mean by concurrent force system concurrent force system is all the forces are meeting at a one single point in the figure shown f1 f2 f3 and f4 are meeting at a single point o so this is a concurrent force system there are two methods for the analysis one is by using equations of equilibrium that is called as analytical method and second is graphical method the equations of equilibrium for the concurrent force system are summation of horizontal forces in x direction are zero and summation of vertical forces in y direction are zero now we'll see the graphical method for the explanation point of view consider a numerical in this given numerical four forces are given 10 newton 20 newton 30 newton and 40 newton angle of 20 newton force with horizontal is given 45 degree angle between force 30 newton and 20 newton is given 90 degree angle between 30 newton and 40 newton is given 75 degree angle between 40 newton and 10 newton is given 120 degree analyze the given force system by using graphical method means determine resultant and its direction that is theta this is a sheet of half imperial size before starting you just mark the margin leave more margin towards left side that is 2 cm it is required for the punching or just to stick the cover and in remaining three sides leave the margin of 1 cm at the left top corner draw given numerical below given numerical draw space diagram at the top of right corner draw vector diagram below vector diagram show the result in tabular form and here at the bottom of right corner draw name plate of size 18 cm by 4 cm in the first row there there is a name of the co college in the second row there is a name of the student in the third row there is a title of the sheet and below that write your roll number and division date scale and the signature this is a given numerical draw space diagram to draw space diagram we need to measure all the angles by using protector and give name to the space as we know or uh, every force divides space in two parts so there is a space between 20 newton and 10 newton give name to that space say a for that use a boss notation boss notation is always written in a circle then space between force 30 and 20 newton it is space b space between 30 newton and 40 newton is space c and space between 40 newton and 10 newton is space d after that we'll draw a vector diagram so we know that from space a to b there is a one force 20 newton and it is making angle 45 degree with horizontal so same force we draw here for that we need to take one scale say 10 newton force is indicated by a 1 cm line so for 20 newton draw a 2 cm line so start from a a to b the force is running 20 newton so draw this line 2 cm here either you can take this angle given angle 45 degree you measure it with protector 45 degree or directly draw parallel line to the 20 newton force of space diagram 
and show here. So, any one of the method you can use. So, it start from point A and it end at point B. So, this line between A B is 2 centimeter and it is indicating 20 Newton force acting from A to B. Now, B to C there is a one force of magnitude 30 Newton. So, from B draw a line of 3 centimeter according to scale, it makes an angle between 20 Newton and 30 Newton is 90 degree. So, you draw parallel line to 30 Newton force of space diagram here like this. So, this line is parallel to the 30 Newton force and the length of line is 3 centimeter. So, in space B and C there is a force 30 Newton and it is acting from B to C. Similarly, now show the force 40 Newton. From space C to D the force is 40 Newton. To maintain the angle draw parallel line to 40 Newton like this and this 40 Newton force is acting from C to D of uh, and it, it is of 4 centimeter line. Then D to A there is a one force 10 Newton. So, D to A if you uh, if we draw the line of 1 centimeter it, it may end somewhere here it is not reaching to the point A. It means that the starting point and end point of this figure is not same means it has a resultant. So, uh, take this point as a A dash and join A and A dash this is a resultant and the direction of resultant is from start to end means all forces are running in one direction, but resultant is in opposite direction. So, A to A dash it is the direction of resultant and theta is the direction. You measure this A A dash in a centimeter convert in a scale and find out the answer of R in a Newton. For theta you measure angle directly by using protector and find out the answer of theta. Now, all this drawn diagram you represent in a sheet like this here you draw given numerical below the given numerical draw space diagram at this corner draw vector diagram below vector diagram show table like this. resultant having magnitude r and inclination or direction theta, its analytical answer you write in this column and graphical answer you write here. Just compare these two answer they must be nearly same. Now, answer the question following types of diagram are drawn in the determination of resultant of concurrent force system by graphical method. Option A is only space diagram and vector diagram. Option B is only space diagram, vector diagram and funicular diagram. Option C is free body diagram, space diagram, vector diagram and funicular diagram. None of these. Correct option is only space diagram and the vector diagram. Option A is correct. In this graphical method we have not drawn funicular diagram, we have not drawn free body diagram. We have drawn only space diagram and the vector diagram. This is my reference for this video. Thank you very much for the watching video.